What's up, what's up, guys? Ricky here, along with David, Dave Oster. Um, he's hey, the guy, right? Um, it's the two of us, because if you missed last week, um, Sean said his goodbyes, took a step away, walked away. I don't want to say that. Not walked away. He took a step back from MVP um, because of shit going on in his life right now. Um, and this week, Dave and I kind of got to thinking, got to talking, and we are in a place where MVP, Dave and I talked about this today before we went on, actually. MVP has been giving you content for five years, if you could believe it or not. Um, cause I still remember the exact day for me. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Sean. I'm going to give a little bit oh. of a story. Oh, um, oh wow. impromptu story where, so for those of you who do know, I've said it on podcast before I went to school to be a teacher. That's what I got my degree in. And my old high school had their job open up and that was like my dream job. I wanted that motherfucker so bad and I ended up not getting it, but before not getting it, I remember telling Mark, I said, this is going to be one of those like life divine defining moments that pushes you one way or another. I'm like, if I get the job, MVP stays a hobby and we don't go full in. But if I don't, we're giving 110% to this. We're going full in and obviously not getting it. I still remember the day I walked into Mark for an onside kick. And I said, from this day forward, we're all in on this. And I was speaking mainly for myself, but it changed where we went um, with it. Dave and I have actually been doing this content in some point or in our, some way or another since 2012. I'm going to fucking put the video down in the description for oh. uh, YouTubers of uh, day, a young 22 year old Dave and Ricky yeah. In Dave's parents' kitchen, oh, <laughs> not yeah. that's, Dave's that's kitchen, because Dave has his own house now. Dave's parents' kitchen <laughs> with the oh, what camera were we using? I think we we're using my Sony Cyber Shot, Might the little been. Sony Cyber Shot that was like that thin and that mm -hmm. big, um, with the little camera stand that dave was like oh it's so cool we can wrap it around the oven and he's like trying to like put it around the oven we eventually got a chair and yep. put it like wrapped it around the chair but the point is we've been giving you content for a long time and this is a point where we made a shift when we added mark when we added brandon when we added johnny and this is another point where nvp is going to be doing another shift i'm gonna call it we're gonna pivot a little bit um kind of like since we talk about sports a lot a lot of teams you can't have the same team for many years there's a dynasty but then the team changes and that's what we're in right now we're in a change tom brady has left and we got to figure out what we need to do sean's gonna like that it's Sean tom brady. <laughs> um, it's tom brady tom brady has left and now bill belichick and robert Kraft. Um, have to decide what to do. I'm going to leave that up to, to the watchers who between us is Bill <laughs> Belichick and who is uh, Robert Kraft. But the point is Dave and I am everyone. Dave will get into that. I'm not going to steal his thunder. Have to now basically do some hard thinking of what we want to give out. Do like, what do we want to change? Where do we want to pivot? Um, and that's kind of where we're at right now is, we're going to go ahead and um, I don't remember if this was a me thing or a you thing, Dave. I'm sorry if I'm stepping on your toes here, oh. um, but we are going to Dave and I are going to take about a month break. So for the rest, of, basically the rest of this month and the rest of June, Dave and I are going to take a break to kind of figure out what what we want MVP to kind of be, but that's not going to be just us. It's going to be more. And that's where I'll let Dave get into that portion of it. Yeah. At, at its core, MVP has always been, you know, a couple of friends just talking sports, you know, at, you know, when we started out, it was the like go out to dinner and all we're doing is talking sports. And we're just like, Oh, we should just drop a microphone. And like, mm -hmm. maybe people would enjoy this shit. And, and a, a lot of people have, and that that's definitely 
been one of the cooler things in our life is just the fact that, you know, we have thoughts. We wanted to just share them out there. Didn't care if we were getting five views, 10 views. And as it kept building, it was like, oh, shit, this is this is actually something really special. We've gotten to know a lot of people um, really well through YouTube comments, then eventually through Patreon uh, and then Discord, like a whole new level. Um, but at its core, again, it's just a couple of guys talking sports. We're not professionals. We're not, you know, in the business. We're just kind of giving you our feelings. And that's one of the things that I really liked about us going forward. Um, we are, we, we tossed out a couple ideas during our first brainstorm session about like, Hey, what do you, what do you like doing? What do you not like doing? How do you want to, you know, what kind of content would you like to do just in general? You know, if it's sports is entertainment, gaming, you know, we've kind of branched off into a bunch of different avenues already. So we have everything open to us. Um, and I do want to just quick aside, Johnny is definitely still with us. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just due to the quarantine. We haven't been able to record any new MVP nerd. Uh, yeah. episodes um but one of the things that we're gonna be counting on you guys for um everybody watching and everybody gaming um every, gaming everybody watching everybody live streaming here with us on twitch today um and everybody in discord is to give us feedback uh what are the things that you really enjoy about our shows what are the stuff that you want to see more of what kind of content um whether it's draft focus whether it's in-depth dives onto player profiles or team fits for basketball, football, whatever, you know, it is just let us know because right now we're kind of going blank slate. I, I think we're not, we're not throwing out what we've built and we're really happy with what we did in the time we did it in. But, you know, due to where we're at now, it's just like, okay, we have an opportunity to make things better going forward. You know, we can't do the same show anymore. Sean can't be replaced. Mm -hmm. Sean's a special person. So what we're going to do is pivot and try to find out what the best content that Ricky and I can provide for you uh, as far as this is concerned. So we will be shooting out a survey on YouTube. We will be opening up survey on our Discord. We'll be spending some time in Discord. Um, one of the things that if you guys were wondering, um, we are stopping our patron um, stuff for the month of June. Um, because Ricky and I agreed that, you know, it wouldn't be right. We're not going to close out like discord still gonna be open for everybody who is a patron. We really appreciate that. Um, but we're not giving you the chance to get those goals that you guys have been donating towards. So we think it's only fair that we just don't take anything for the month of June. Um, but yeah, at this point, it's just really trying to focus our time on trying to figure out what kind of content we can bring to you guys. And Hopefully you guys enjoy it and, and you're patient with us as we go through this. I know it's not the easiest thing to go a month dark, but mm -hmm. you know we do have some content that's been previously uh, done that Ricky can kind of be releasing over time. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And the thing I will say is one, it it's going to be for YouTube. It will be like Dave said, a complete dark, but <clears throat> like I was talking to, um, Soapy, one of our patrons yesterday, and I even mentioned to him that during this month, there may be a day where it's like, oh, I'm playing WoW with Dave, or oh, I'm playing MLB The Show. Fuck it, I'm going to pop on Twitch to just mm -hmm. chill. Like, there may be those days during this where we're still here. It's not like a complete, like, ghosting, um, basically. Yeah. Um, but I like what Dave did say. Like, Sean is irreplaceable and it like it made me think of like when mark left the onside kick was i tried to do it on my own and it was just like it's not the same when mm -hmm. brandon left the ptp just was not the same and like i i wouldn't want the fast break to be that same thing of like dave and i doing it and it's just i i don't want it to feel like not the same you know what i mean like it's, it wouldn't feel the same because sean wasn't there yeah but that's why this is important for us to kind of take back like jd said in twitch chat um kind of a good thing to recharge reset um because the main goal is putting out the the main goal is putting out content that both we like making and you like watching and you like digesting um because I'll pull back the curtain a little bit. Dave asked me yesterday when we were doing a brainstorm session, he said, 
well, what's the goal? And the three things he listed off were, is it content we like doing? Is it content people like doing? Is it content that's going to make us the most successful? And it's kind of finding a yin and yang between all of those, but most importantly, content that we have fun making, but that you guys like to watch and come back for each and every week, each and every day, um, each and every time we post content. Yeah. So it's that sweet Venn diagram of like overlap, yeah, you know, whether gotta find hey, maybe you want to watch fun. Dave cooking streams or I've had that idea, man. Like <laughs> I, I'll be honest. It's an idea that I would have stolen from kind of funny, but mm-hmm. like they do, they do a video of it's called um, cooking with Greggy because yeah. game over Greggy, they could do that. But like every time I would hear you talk about, cooking and stuff it's like Mm -hmm. dave's got a kitchen could easily record dave cooking mark has also also talked about that when he was with it mark's Mm -hmm. cuban kitchen but that was that was never like a serious thing that was just yeah but i mean like the whole yeah the whole point is just you know different avenues different content that you haven't seen out of us you know Mm -hmm. maybe we're not we're not closing off any avenues let's Mm -hmm. put it that way yeah. You know, if you want to watch Ricky exercise videos, hey, <laughs> or start P90X with Ricky or Insanity, and we're gonna do it along with him on Twitch. Dave, Dave and... Dave's trying, Dave's trying to, trying to, trying to push that one now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to look out for you, buddy. You know, only the best. So, um, so here, hey, so here's like, what we do: make stuff like that. That's that's a cool idea. Like we can do this stuff together. Yeah. Um, and that's one thing that I kind of the shit on YouTube that I I've kind of drawn a liking to mm-hmm. is a lot of the stuff that's based around you know yes I'm watching this person do it but I can do it along with them or I can share in that experience so mm-hmm. I think that could be something special. I mean, I'm thinking pie in the sky here never gonna happen. But you know what yeah. I would really like a video to happen. Hmm. Otis and Ricky do Ring Fit Adventure there on the go. fucking Switch. <laughs> there you go. Reach out to Otis. Don't oh, yeah. that. <laughs> Tuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that that would be when you said like workout videos like no man ring fit adventure man that's where it's at dave almost hey, got it for ricky for his birthday i, I thought it would be insensitive i i was okay you gotta you gotta understand i, I, I seriously i was like this close to buying it for I know, ricky, yeah. but i'm like would he be offended by this because it's like it's a game but it's also exercise it's game but exercise and i've known ricky long enough to be like you try to trip "Mm -hmm." the dog into working out yeah 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 so uh, or or like when when my mom gives one of our dogs the pill gotta fucking put it in the hot dog oh oh, you want the hot dog better than most children in america yeah it's it's not it's probably not healthy for them but like they're she, happy dogs. She, she ain't They're gonna, the she ain't gonna dog. change. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, also, uh, let's see. Um, Macaw Macaw's Rings, um, gave us our full uh breakdown where uh, Sean is Tom Brady, good looking boy with a nice piece on him. Um, Dave is Bill Belichick. He's no nonsense. It makes things what or makes things work no matter what. I and apparently that. I'm Big Bucks Ricky. I'm it's Robert Kraft is Ricky. He put Big Bucks Ricky flashing his knowledge and money. He may uh, or may not like massages. I have never gotten a massage, by the way. Uh, I have never gotten a professional massage. Yeah. Yeah. The I like o- to dig that. The only time I came close was in grad school. There was a girl from my undergrad who became a masseuse. I had asked her, like, oh, like, as a friend, could you, like, give me a massage? And after she said no, I would have to pay, I said, well, no, I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> like, the reason why, yet, yeah, like, it's like when you know someone who's, uh, who can fix cars, you don't... Hey, can you take a look at this for me? <laughs> yeah, hey, can you take a look for this for me? Not, hey, can I pay you to take a look at this for me? Well, I mean, you, you do gotta pay him some way, you know, usually with mechanics... Beer. Uh, beer is one option beer, for sure. Just give sure. them beer instead of fucking uh, people. Anybody in IT? Can you mm-hmm. can you fix my computer? <laughs> uh, you can bring me something. Bring me you know alcohol. How, how or many times Dave had pizza. to run across the street because Ricky had a problem with his computer? Uh, when we lived across the street from one. Good old days. Night. Hey Dave, I need you to take a look at this. I think my computer is busted. Yeah, good old days. Uh, Sophie, 
Yeah, I, if you want shed content, I can hook you up with some shed can content. We, I would love Dave's top five sheds. <laughs> I will give you shed rankings, uh, S tier through F tier. Um, you know, the one thing that I, I really would like to do, mm-hmm. like, and I know he's not here, but like Johnny, I want to give Johnny a workshop and just have that man do shit and record it. Cause I think he's such a handy person. Like he, he's so creative mm-hmm. and he would build the shit out of anything. I, you know what? I have fucking it's one of those avenues. So I'm like, I would love to just drag Johnny over here and be like, when, Johnny build. Shit. When Johnny told me that he had an Instagram that he was putting all of his cosplay stuff on. Yep. I was so excited for him because I've been trying to push him, whether it's MVP or even on its own. I've told him this. I've said, even even if it's on your own, yeah. like he, he shows me the Odin makes videos Mm -hmm. and I'm like, you can do this. Like, this is what you do. Like, and it's like, I've even told him, I'm like, if you need help with the recording part and the filming part, you yeah, got you, me, brother. Exactly. <laughs> I can handle exactly. that shit. Um, but yeah, or like an idea. I don't even know if this idea is ever gonna happen. I would mm-hmm. like it to eventually. Yeah. Um, but like Johnny and I have talked about how remember the show Deadliest Warrior? Yeah. That, but like superheroes, and because Johnny can do the cosplay stuff, we can actually have like live tests not exactly like how they had it they've got more money mm. than us um, gotcha, gotcha. but like like oh this is what the piece of armor would be and oh if a knife went through it like that kind of shit like obviously early brainchild johnny and i um it yeah. never got completely off the ground but like that's an idea that i was like i've always had like in the back of my head so like we've said this is a time where dave and i and johnny and everyone are gonna kind of think about what the future is what our content is and i can't i i know i can't and i know dave can't i'm gonna Mm -hmm. speak for him here we can't wait to see where this goes because like i said this is a repositioning this is a pivoting this is us not completely changing but kind of just thinking about what's gonna work for us so I'm going to fucking thank you guys for thank you yeah. guys in advance um, for being a part of part of this journey and being with us. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So we'll have a survey. We'll have probably a video for that later on, but no, can't wait to take this next step with you. And at least for the YouTube video, mm-hmm. we'll see you next time.